Hi, Stevie Lynn here and welcome to the Earth-Based Kitchen where I typically cook whole food, plant-based, mostly vegan meals. But on this episode, we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to go on a road trip <laughs> from North Carolina to Ohio and I'm going to show you how you can be on vacation anywhere. So, but before we begin, let's be clear about one thing and that is Vacation is not really a place, it's a mindset. And mindsets are free. They are totally included within your package of life. I'm here to help you create that vacation mindset wherever you are without having to pay for a plane ticket, a hotel, $20 drink. You don't need all of that to get the benefits of a vacation. So pour yourself a glass of champagne or, or white claw. Stretch out and take all the leg room you want and microwave yourself a bowl of nuts. We're going to Dayton, Ohio. What happens to you when you go on vacation? Well, you let go, you de-stress, reset, and restore your energy. You disconnect from your daily rut, which frees your mind to think of so many other things. You give yourself permission to play and be curious. You choose to see the beauty in things. You look forward to adventure rather than feel anxious about uncertainty. You're more likely to be mindful as you want to hold on to the moments rather than escape them. And novelty triggers creativity, so you're likely to be creatively inspired, which may lead to better problem solving. And most importantly, you remember who you were before so much depended on you. On our way to Ohio, we had planned on stopping at a hot dog joint called Hillbilly Hot Dog, which is also a roadside attraction, and they have vegan hot dogs and like a whole, yeah, like a huge menu. But unfortunately, there was a wreck and a fatality, and the road was blocked, so we couldn't go. So we decided just to wait till we got to Dayton and stop by Skyline Chili and I added some fresh tomatoes to my black bean chili and spaghetti and it was vegan and good. And the very next morning, Michael went to his meetings and me and the dogs, we went out to play. Lighting is really nice here too. Great place to take pictures. I just passed a, an influencer at, or a blogger or something and her photographer. You know, she's like dressed in white. It's always white. <laughs> the dogs make it really hard. Get in, Smokey. Go on. Good boy. drink some water. We're gonna go on to our next adventure. to stop at Pfeiffer Farms here because I needed some some groceries for our hotel room and 
Pfeiffer Farms would allow me to bring my dogs in while we shopped. Now, I didn't have the camera with me because it was just too much. But there are a lot of options for ecotourism in this area around Dayton, Dayton and Yellow Springs. So there's the Sunflower Farm here. There's Pfeiffer. There's Young's Dairy, which is just down the street. And then there's uh, Brandy, Brandy Wine. Uh, there's a winery as well. Lila. Let, no, 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 no. Don't eat them. Don't eat them. <laughs> Girl, shit, yeah. Why are you so babies? You so happy. We're having a happy day, aren't we? We're having such a happy day. So now we are heading to one of my favorite places. It's John Bryan State Park. You might be guessing right now that I lived in this area. Yes, I used to live. I used to live in Yellow Springs. But we have another big day tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna sleep like babies. Going back to the hotel. Not a very fun place, but you're gonna be so sleepy you won't give a damn. One of the ways to make me happy is to make them happy. <laughs> I guess I'm totally codependent, but I'm okay with it. Okay. Let's go! <laughs> my husband always accuses me of only picking restaurants in downtown but that's where you know they usually are good you know it without having to resort to like a corporate restaurant so we're in the Oregon district very fun area with Victorian houses and it's just cool it's both like tawdry and chic there's a really cool brewery here called toxic brew we like to go to but there's just great restaurants from high end to hip and lots of bars so we're heading to the trolley stop which is a fun little historical bar and historical building it was hard finding vegan entrees here but i did have two orders of a hummus plate <laughs> and the dogs were welcome so back at the homestead aka la quinta I just want to show you the produce I got from Pfeiffer today and 
you know, it allows me to do this, add some veggies to my, my chili and I, I baked pota- I cooked potatoes in the microwave and just chopped up some zucchini and tomatoes and put it with the black beans and rice that I got from Skyline. And honestly, this is one of the best meals ever. We got a new day with lots of play planned and we are going to be heading to Waynesville. Just, it's a really cute little town and it has some Quaker history and a very historical Quaker meeting house I want to go to and then we're going to go to a lake. But first, I saw this little hiking area on our way to Waynesville and we had to stop. And you know what? This place is so magical. One of the reasons why I wanted to take you all to Waynesville is because it is a really cute, quaint little town. We actually almost bought a house here. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to show you that in states like Ohio and a lot of other quote and unquote flyover states, um, there's so many small towns, little downtowns, small cities that have a lot of rich history and just cute shops and so many things to do like there are great antique stores here in Waynesville and fun stores like this oddity shop which has like lots of weird stuff which I love can't take can't go in there right now because I got my dogs with me <laughs> but I wish I could um and another reason I wanted to bring you here is because of history like there is just so much history everywhere you know it's not just Washington DC there is national and local history in every single state and if you've been around this channel you might remember that I'm on a journey to learn about the history of my Quaker ancestors. Queensville was not founded by Quakers but it was pretty much settled by Quakers who came here from South Carolina um, and they established this 2,000 strong Quaker community. They were abolitionists. To oversimplify it, they left South Carolina to get away from slavery. As you probably remember from grade school that one of the key Quaker values or testimonies is the testimony of equality. And there's six different testimonies, simplicity, peace, integrity, community, equality, and stewardship. And equality basically equals anti-slavery. This house is a boarding house established in 1904 and it was created to house elderly women and, and teachers who were coming to teach in the Quaker school. And we're about to go see the actual friend's house that was established in 1811. 
So this white brick house that we're coming upon, up on the hill, is called the Miami Meeting House. It was built in 1811, and it is the oldest place of worship in, in continuous use west of the Allegheny Mountains. So one of my suggestions, if you find yourself traveling in any of the states, is to look up any ancestral connections you might have, because you might be surprised. I lived in Ohio, and I had no clue that I had ancestors. <laughs> buried just 40 miles away from where I was living. Had no clue. <laughs> this is so cool. I wish it was easier to enjoy this moment, but they're not gonna cooperate. Since my children were acting up and it's a pretty cool day, I decided to put them in the car and just take a little tour of this super cute shop. If you're like into farmhouse decor, this shop is super cute. When I lived in Ohio, I used to come here all the time to just go swimming or, you know, pretend I was coastal. <laughs> I've had my heart broken in two But something's different next to you It's like my soul is set Cause I can run but I We decided to go to dinner in downtown Dayton at one of my favorite restaurants in the whole world. It's called Wheat Penny. They have so many options, including vegan and gluten-free and vegetarian, and it's all incredibly delicious. They even have pizzas that are gluten-free and vegetarian. These eggplant fries are one of my favorite things, and I know how to make it, and I'm going to make it, and it's going to be on my channel someday. <laughs> 
there's a delicious that's a cauliflower steak and my husband has a green lasagna he is the enemy no darts at him back at the homestead for a good night's sleep well we woke up to this visit to Ohio so we decided to go to John Bryan again and hit the storybook trail which is really fun if you have kids. <laughs> So we are heading towards the Columbus area to Newark, Ohio to go visit his parents. Got some lemon bars and this is a really easy recipe. She just used angel food, a package of angel food. Angel food cake mix and it has to be the one with that you make with water. Yeah. Right, and then just and and then a jar of lemon, a yeah, can of lemon pie filling. That's awesome, and it makes this. And we, of course, it was glazed as well. And the glaze is just powdered sugar, a little lemon zest, a pinch of salt, and an, an, and enough powdered sugar to get whatever consistency you want. Are the beautiful wood things Michael made gifts to his mama? Beautiful. Gorgeous. They're so beautiful. Wouldn't this make a really cool, like you could do so many things with this, like hummus and vegetables. Yeah. Or you could do cheese around here mm -hmm. and then crackers piled in the bowl. This is such a versatile thing. Mm -hmm. or, or we were talking about like some sweet dip with like um, pretzels or something. I don't know what, what you would do with the sweet dip. Apples, 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 peanut butter and dip and apples. <laughs> Both my mom-in-law and me, we love to thrift, so we decided to go thrifting. What, is that a rosary next to it? Every place has its no. own unique treasure, so I highly recommend thrifting whenever you're out of town. Got these earrings for 99 cents and I love them, those and these cute. too. <laughs> those are really cute, how much are they? I think they're 99 cents, they are 99 oh, wow. cents. Get your ugly Christmas sweater now. This one's kind of fun and comfy. Chanel. Extra, extra large. I mean, I don't know. Five bucks of coziness. We've got a special section for female authors in a special section for male authors and they're they're far apart from each other so we went to another thrift store that was absolutely awesome oh my gosh i love gonna have to do this shirt <laughs> and when i came back to the house i stumbled upon this sweet scene well it took you a while to get it there it sure did it sure did We are in Westerville right now, which is just outside of Ohio. Now, I have to admit, I took this footage last year, so it's actually late August. Um, I came here to do a little video on Frances Wildert, who was the second national president of the Women's Temperance Christian Union, and I wanted to go visit the um, anti salug League Museum, which you just saw a picture of. It was... It was not great, but Westerville is a really super cute town, as you can see, and I just wanted to share that with you. And lots of flowers, just sweet, absolutely sweet, and just outside of Columbus. So you should definitely also go to Columbus 
like go to North Market, go to the Shoe, which is the Buckeye Stadium. Those things are great. <laughs> We are now in the downtown area of my husband's hometown, Newark, Ohio, and it is true Americana. So that huge, funky courthouse that's being restored was built in 1876 in the Second Empire style. And now we're walking down Canal Street and all of these murals depict life along Canal Street in the 1800s. Aren't they sweet? Very Norman Rockwell, but kind of gangster too. <laughs> Entire downtown is almost completely muraled up. I think they're trying to deter graffiti. So this historic stone building is the Licking County Jail and my father-in-law used to walk by it when he was a boy and all the sex workers who were arrested overnight used to shout down to him, propositioning him. <laughs> It was built in 1889 and decommissioned in 1987, and it's in the Richardson Romanesque style. So we're back on the road heading home, but we decided to see if Hillbilly Hot Dogs was open, and it surely was. So we're gonna check this place out, and we're gonna get some vegetarian hot dogs, and I cannot wait. It's dog friendly too. <laughs> Buses actually serve as the dining rooms. Excited to try veggie hot dog. I ate so much whole food that I'm just excited to not. Everyone wants to watch. I'm thinking of making that one. And it has a vegan weenie with nacho cheese, ketchup, mustard, onion, slaw, relish, maters, lettuce, and shredded cheese. Not vegan, but. I want a hillbilly dog and onion rings. Hillbilly dog and onion rings. Okay, what do you want to drink? Iced tea. Thumbs up on Hillbilly Hot Dogs and eight paws up. Eight paws up. <laughs> Marketplace, which is just off the West Virginia Turnpike, and it's a really cool, better than rest stop. They support local artists and local farmers. Um, they have a food mall, but they also have a restaurant that serves up 
local food and it's a super cool place. They even have like local wine and they're dog friendly. And Mike is about to check out the woodwork <laughs> and he's about to realize how much his work is worth. It's kind of exciting. That's crazy. Wow. These aren't even amazing. It's red oak. Yeah. This chestnut. Sixty bucks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> crotch bowls, but crotch bowls. Oh, West Virginia wine. Raspberry Royale. Sweet mountain spice wine. I actually think that's probably kind of good. Uncle Jim blueberry wine. No, I'm here this way. Catch that Michael swerved in the freaking tunnel freaked the heck out of me well that's going to conclude our video I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for joining Michael and I we had so much fun and if you got anything out of this video or if you've learned a little bit about cultivating a vacation mindset wherever you are please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing. My goal is to create a video like this for each of the 50 states. So stay tuned.